So, is Stephen Curry, is Stephen Curry a top 10 player of all time? Let me think about that. Give me a minute. When I say a minute, I mean a second. Hell yeah, he the top 10 best player of all time. Well, who do you got to take out? Who, who are you going to take out of the top 10? Okay, my top 10, you know, Kareem, Kobe slash uh, Jordan, you know, Magic and Bird, Tim Duncan, Shaq. Um, I guess you got to go with LaBrick, LaFraud, La LaWiney. The six finals losses, even though you played with a super team for over a decade. And you got, even though you got hand-picked rosters and you got more finals losses than wins. But uh, I'm going to go with LeBron. LeBron James. Hey. Um, dubs. See, the dubs. See, we got a dub in the finals. Dubs. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what Steph has done to LeBron in the finals is get dubs. Hot dub, we getting hot dubs and LeBron getting hot L's because you can't spell LeBron without L. You can't spell LeBron without L. Might be why he takes so many L's. No, I don't know. But anyway, LeBron's uh, buddy, speaking of LeBron, his buddy, his best buddy in the world, D Wade, <clears throat> he said, even though he left D Wade when he had bad knees, but that's not here nor there. Um, he went to Cleveland because Wade had bad knees. But speaking of Wade, he said there needs to be more room on the Mount Rushmore for Stephen Curry. Ain't that some ish? Ain't that some ish? But um, I agree with him though. Like he's he's that dude, man. Changed the game. Got everybody trying to shoot threes, trying to do what he do, but you can't. You know, I mean, Trey Young was supposed to be that guy. You know, and, and I root for Trey Young, but nah, he, he's not him. Steph six three. Steph just got short area quickness, man. Like Steph, huh, Steph kind of like the way he like knows how to find places. Like when when he's being guarded one on one, or like when he's being double, triple teamed, this and that. He knows how, like how, what place to go to shoot or it's a pass. You know, he kind of plays. In my opinion, he plays like. He plays receiver kind of like a, like a slot receiver. I mean, he plays, you know, point guard like a slot receiver, like like Wes Welker, like, you know, that short area quickness. He knows how to just find that, that hole in the zone or the man. or the, He just knows how to just get open, and he knows how to just get open whether he has the ball or not. Like, he can, he can shake a dude off him, wop, 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 or, you know, playing without the ball, you know. Uh, L, L, L. Stefferton, but, um, but yeah, man, like Steph, he he just he just uh, the, the the shiznit, man. He he's just transcendent. Like he's what all right, all time points per game in the finals, in finals clinchers. He's second to Michael Jordan. That's pretty good, right? <clears throat> the guy that never shows up in the finals is second to Michael Jordan, and a pretty good stat. Go figure. Um, even entering these past finals, even entering these finals, he was a thirty nine percent shooter from three. That's pretty good. Uh, that's great. <clears throat> So, like, he averages, like, more points per game in the finals than Kobe, Kareem, Dr. J, um, D-Wade, like, Kobe, D-Wade, Tim Duncan, Larry Bird, Kareem. It, it's crazy, man. He averages more points. Like, he should have been a finals MVP in 2015 and 2018. He balled out. He balled out in all these. Don't let these fools on TV, <clears throat> like Nick Wright, um... Kendrick Perkins, Richard Jefferson, Eddie House. You know, I mean, Eddie House, his hate don't, don't show up as much as like a, a Perkins, a obviousness of like Perkins and, you know, Nick Wright, of course, because you know, he kind of hides it more, you know, but I already know. I, I already know. Um, <clears throat> you know, I can already feel it. Like, he never roots for the Warriors. Even when, he, even when the Warriors face the Cavs, he was rooting for the Cavs. He's LeBron lover. But I do appreciate him saying that LeBron did choke in 2011. He cost him the series. Because that was facts. <clears throat> but anyway, man, Steph, like, 
how would stuff be guarded in, even in the old days? Yeah, I mean, all they ever talk about is hand check this, hand check that. They're, they weren't hand checking like how they make it seem, you know. Um, you know, it's just a little it's a bit overblown. Like Steph can score on anybody. His short area quickness, his quick release, his his accuracy, just like his his smarts. You know, people shot threes by Reggie Miller shot threes. Chris Mullen did. Uh, Jeff Hornacek. You know, Gary Payton occasionally shot him. You know, I mean, Kenny Smith, Mario Ellie. Big Shot Bob, Robert Ory. They call him Big Shot Bob for a reason. It's not because he was a post player. I'll tell you that. Because he was a shooter. So people did shoot outside. Um, So, you know, y'all, like, at the end of the day, man, Steph is top 10 all-time player. You know, he beat a healthy Celtic team. Well, that was, that was pretty damn stacked. He beat them. He beat, he beat the... Okay. All they ever keep saying is, oh, play, he's a shell of himself. Draymond Green, he's not the same anymore either. So Steph won with that. He won with a, a, a guy, Andrew Williams, that nobody wanted to trade for. You know, he and he beat a, a, the most athletic two-guard, small forward tandem in NBA since Jordan and Pippen. That's what he beat. And the, not to mention Marcus Smart, defensive player of the year. What? Robert Williams, who's probably the next DeAndre Jordan. You know, because all he does is dunk and block shots. Um, Al Horford, damn good pro. What, multiple time All Star, man? Damn great defender. What's up, man? He beat a Celtic team with all them banners. I always want the Warriors to uh, win, uh, you know, like, in front of all them banners. In front of a, uh, I just want them to beat a big market team, and that's what they did. They, they beat the Celtics, y'all. The Celtics. They got dubs too, man. I, I love that. Steph's one of the all-time greats. Top ten. He, he did he did that. You know, like he's like one of three players, one of four players, do a lot of stuff in the finals, in the playoffs. He was all-star MVP, Western Conference Finals MVP, and NBA Finals MVP. You know, he should be a two-time winner. He should be a two-time finals winner. He's he's also a 50, 40, 90 guy. Um you know, greatest free throw shooter ever, greatest three point shooter ever. You know, um, he gets a lot of steals. See how what five six steals in the last finals clincher, five six steals in the finals clincher. Man, Steph, he did it without Kevin Durant. I mean, they said he couldn't do it. He got the monkey off his back. Like, he, he, remember when Steve Young won, won his won his Super Bowl? Like, get, get the monkey off my back. Get the monkey off my back. That was Steph. Get that Finals MVP monkey off my back. You know, he had a Steve Young moment, you know? That's what he did. He had a Steve Young moment. He said, get that monkey off my back. You know what I'm saying? After Joe Montana left, you know, after he got traded or whatnot. Kevin Durant. See, he has the one without Steph. Steph won before Durant got there. He won with Durant, and he won after he left. Those are just the facts, y'all. <clears throat> that those, those, are, those are just the facts. You know, bad mofo, y'all. Bad mofo right there. He might be the best point guard of all time. Steph was to score on Jordan, Pippen, all of them, man. He would have beat, man. But, but Steph, he's a top 10 player, man. And, um, you know, uh, I guess that's the 10 right there. I got, I got Steph above LeBron. I don't care what nobody say. You don't always got to pick the guy who's bigger and taller faster whatever you know you don't always got to do that like Steph beat him in three finals you know what I'm saying LeBron had hand-picked rosters that's all I know he had hand-picked rosters he ain't never won without more than one than, he ain't never won with uh less than two Hall of Famers on his side so Steph he's won he, he had no top 75 all-time players on his team on, on, on this team because Draymond and Clay they didn't make it you know, he won without a top 75 player against all the defensive player of the year. Uh, like I said, the most athletic two guard, small forward tandem, skilled two guard, two guard, small forward tandem since Jordan and Pippen. True or false? True. Robert Williams, that man is everywhere. Whew. But like, he was blocking shots like Aaron Donald Hunt's quarterbacks. Like, you know, that's what Steph had to deal with. You know, he was like Aaron Donald at center. He was, and I can't stand Aaron Donald. I'm a Niner fan, but 
Just being the objective observer that I am. But um, yeah, man, what y'all think though? You know what you guys gotta do, man. Hey, Steph, he's he's top ten player, man. Four titles in eight years in a super team era. In a super team era. He's the only player ever to beat uh um in 2015. Every member he beat in the playoffs, they all was all NBA first team. You know, you had uh Anthony Davis, Mark Gasol, James Harden, LeBron James. Only player ever to do that. You feel me? He did it in a super team era. He did it with the point guard position. The position he plays is the deepest position in basketball. You know? And he's doing this against that. It's not like when Michael Jordan was doing it in the 90s because the two guard position was the worst position in basketball in the 90s. Those are just the facts. You know? So, you know, people, people, like people make it seem like, oh, Jordan played against this, that, 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 that. Eh. Two guard position was... All right, the, the next best two guard in the 90s to Jordan was Mitch Richmond. And Mitch Richmond had nothing around him in Sacramento to compete, you know? And don't give me that Reggie Miller stuff. I like Reggie Miller, but he's a number two option, you know? So, I'm just saying, man. Uh, so, yeah, Steph, he deserves it, man. He's beating all his talent. And these playoffs, look who he beat. He beat Jokic. I don't care who Jokic didn't have. Jokic was the MVP. Then he beat the Grizzlies with a damn great roster. Jaron Jackson, high pick. You know, you got John Morant. You got Dylan Brooks, pesky player. Uh, Bane. You got freaking Steven Adams, the strongest guy in the NBA. They, they got a good squad over there. You know, not to mention. Then he beat the, the next Larry Burr. Luka Doncic spanked his behind. He, he beat the most. He beat the most. Uh, Athletic two guard small forward Thompson's Jordan and Pippen. He beating talent. He beating talent. Oh my God, y'all! Come on now. Did I mention he spanked LeBron behind? And CP zero. He beat him twice in the playoffs, 2018, 2019. He's the point guard. And John Moran called him the point guard himself, the point guard. Steph beat him, but the Grizzlies did win a game without John Moran though. I'm just saying, man, we would have beat the Grizzlies even with John Morant. All I heard was, they're better when John Morant's not playing. That's all I heard, so I don't want to hear no excuse on that. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> Stafferton, that boy is a top 10 player. Those are the reasons. Those are the reasons. I might even have a part two of this. So, yeah, man, if I missed anything. But yeah, y'all like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, man. Steph's a top 10 player. He got to be four titles, 50, 40, 90. Did it without Durant. The Celtics were healthy. They were longer athletic, tall. You know, they got all this length for Steph and Clay and Jordan Poole. All right, no. This is the greatest franchise ever. But yeah, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And tell me what you guys think, though. Do Steph belong in the top 10? I think he does, man. He's a top 10er. Top 10er. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So yeah, y'all. Hey, I'm just saying. You hear that, Tracy McGrady and Gilbert Arenas? Those are the reasons. T Mac and Gilbert Arenas and, and Reggie Miller. What's up? This is my, this is my, so, so, what do you guys think, though? You guys agree with this assessment? You feel me? Hey, I'm protecting Steph, man. That's a bad mofo right there. So, yeah, y'all. Yeah.